welcome back everyone to Actual English. My name is Jennifer Clyde. It is time for lesson 25 and today's topic is eye and dental checkups. Now we did talk about health checkups, also called physical checkups and generally called annual checkups. But let's focus on our vision, okay, our eyesight and also our teeth. So sometimes you may have to go to get your eyes checked to see if your eyes are okay. Also, we go in to have our eyes checked in terms of our vision, mm -hmm. if we have good or bad vision, to see if we need contact lenses or glasses. What about the dentist? How often do you go to the dentist? You may go to the dentist as often as every six months, maybe once every year or once every two years. Now, people normally or generally go to the dentist to have their teeth checked. Now, I often go to have my teeth cleaned. I think people often call them scaling in Korean. But in English, it just simply, you can say, I need to go to the dentist to get or have my teeth cleaned. You may need braces or you may need a root canal, which is a big surgery, it's very painful. Anyhow, that is exactly what we'll be talking about today. So get ready, let's get started. Oh, Peter, I have to go to the dentist. Oh, no. My tooth is so sensitive right now, and I loathe going to the dentist. Really? I, I actually find people who say, I don't mind going to the dentist a bit strange, because the dentist is the worst place to go in the world. I right? totally agree. But those people <laughs> probably have perfect teeth, no cavities. That's right. They probably get their dental checkup every six <laughs> months, do the whole routine. Yeah, because when you do have problems with your teeth, like... They're linked to your nerves and things like that. So the pain is like shooting pains and things like that. Getting your fillings done and getting your wisdom teeth pulled out. It's like my worst nightmare. It's terrible. Have you gotten your wisdom teeth taken out? I've had my bottom two taken out, yeah. Okay. And they were like really difficult to take out. In one case, the dentist actually climbed on my chest. What? Yanking and yanking. I had like the injections to numb the pain. So just like still... a Novocaine, you weren't uh, put under anything? No, no. Just... How about you? Well, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, it was considered oral surgery. So I was kind of uh, given um, an anesthetic, like a gas mask, basically. Wow. Uh, but I was still kind of coherent because I could see everything. Uh -huh. And they put music on for me. They put, like, headphones on <laughs> so nice. that I couldn't hear them taking it out. Because sure. it's it's on your face. It's so close to your ears that you can hear everything, right? That drilling sound. It just makes it worse. Yeah, right? exactly. High pitch sound. But apart from the dentist, one place that I don't mind going to because my eyes are perfect is like the opticians. Getting an eye check. I you love have it. like 20-20 vision? It's not quite 20-20, but I've never worn glasses or contact lenses. Wow, or you are like so that. lucky. Yeah. Didn't it's... you recently have some stuff done to your eyes? Yeah, I got the LASIK surgery, so oh. the vision correction surgery, and I'm still kind of recovering right now. But I would definitely recommend it if your eyes get better. Was it painful? It was more painful than I expected. <laughs> but at this point, I think it was worth it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, cause... it's better to get it done and then not wear glasses. Exactly. It's like so that. convenient. I don't have to put my contact lenses on. I don't have to wear glasses when I'm not wearing my contact lenses. So very convenient. Wow. I'd recommend it. What did you think about today's actual talk conversation? It was interesting, as always, right? Well, Peter mentioned something about how it's very hard for him to understand people that often say, you know, I don't dread going to the dentist. I don't mind going to the dentist. Actually, Peter, I'm one of them. I really don't mind going. Um, I like to actually go every six months to have my teeth cleaned. Mm, once you get it done, oh, I feel so nice. But I will have to tell you about my last experience at the dentist. I had to go and get a root canal and it was very, very painful. And I dread going to the dentist to get my molar pulled out, which is something I have to do very soon. Anyhow, now Rachel and Peter seem to hate going to the dentist, but Peter mentioned that he doesn't mind going to the optician or ophthalmologist is a term for like a eye doctor um, because he has pretty good vision. Rachel mentioned that she got a certain type of surgery and let's check it out in today's actual talk together. So here we go. Rachel began by saying, I have to go to the dentist. Keep in mind, 
I have to go to the dentist. Always include the along with dentist. I have to go to the dentist. My tooth is so sensitive right now and I loathe going to the dentist. So she's talking about how her tooth, so right here, T-O-O-T-H, is singular, right? Okay, plural form for tooth is teeth, T-E-E-T-H. So obviously, we understand that she has a problem with one tooth. Now, one of her teeth is very sensitive. Hmm. I think you need to get a root canal. I think that's probably it. Or maybe you have a cavity, anyhow. So one of her teeth is very sensitive and she says, I loathe. Loathe is another word for hate. If you fear something and if you hate doing something, you can say, I loathe doing something. I loathe going to the dentist. I hate going to the dentist. Now, Peter says, really, hmm. I actually find people who say, I don't mind going to the hospital. Now, the point here is, I mind? No, I don't mind going to the dentist. A bit strange. He's saying, I don't understand these people because the dentist is the worst place to go in the world. So that pretty much the final sentence here. The dentist is the worst place to go in the world. Now we can easily understand that Peter really hates the dentist. All right, let's move on. Now, but those people probably have perfect teeth. Now those people, who are those people she is referring to? Those people that Rachel is mentioning are the people that say, I don't mind going to the dentist. So she's saying, you know, people that often say that they don't mind going to the dentist are probably people that have perfect teeth, people that have no problems with their teeth. And she says, no cavities, for example. A cavity. What is a cavity? Cavity, another word for it is decay. Decay means to rot, for example. So if you have a bad tooth, you might have a cavity. Okay, chung chi in that case. And she says they probably get their dental checkup every six months. Every means what? Mm. After six months? And then once again, after another six months. So people get their dental checkup every six months. Okay, that's what I do too, as I go in to get my teeth cleaned. Peter says, yeah, hmm. when you do have problems with your teeth, they are linked to your nerve or nerves. He's talking about the nerves that are hidden underneath our gums, right? And they are linked, meaning connected to the nerves. So the pain is like shooting pains. Okay, shooting pains. Now, shoot, this word, S-H-O-O-T, it's often used as a verb, right? You can shoot a gun, right? You can shoot somebody with something, with, some, uh, with something sharp, but in most cases, we often use shoot with a gun. So when you shoot a gun, a bullet, it goes right? It shoots out. So a shooting pain is like a throbbing pain, a pinching pain. It's not very fun. So he's talking about how our teeth are linked to or connected to the nerves and it can be very, very painful. Getting your fillings done and wisdom teeth pulled out. Okay. Now getting your fillings done. If you have a cavity, you can have your cavity filled, right? You can have it filled, but then again, filling itself is what you fill your tooth with, okay? So they carve it out, the bad part, the cavity, and they fill it in with something, and that is called a filling. So getting your fillings done and wisdom teeth pulled out. Wisdom teeth is what? Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's a third molar, I believe. Yeah, I think it's called 사랑니 in Korean. So you can get your wisdom teeth or a tooth pulled out or taken out. It's like my worst nightmare. He's talking about how he dreads it. He is afraid of going to the dentist. Rachel says it's terrible. Hmm. Have you gotten your wisdom teeth taken out? Remember? Taken out or pulled out. And uh, Peter says the dentist actually climbed on my chest. Right? 
yanking and yanking. He is talking about his experience at the dentist. When he had his wisdom tooth pulled out, the dentist, he climbed on my chest or climbed onto my chest, yanking and yanking. To yank, Y-A-N-K means to use force to pull something out, okay? So he's saying the dentist, he went up on top of me and he pulled that wisdom tooth out. And he said, I had injections, another word for shots, right? To numb the pain. If you numb something, you have no sense of it. You can't feel it. So you can often say, my finger is numb, meaning you have no feeling in your, num uh, in your finger. You can't feel anything with your finger. And he says, I had injections, shots, to numb the pain meaning the shot. I got it, and once I got it, I couldn't feel the pain. Now, Rachel says something about what's called Novocaine. This is just a name of a certain brand or a certain product. But the point is, you weren't put under or anything. To be put under, mm, it means to use anesthesia, okay? There's local anesthesia, general anesthesia. Put under, basically, if you are put under, you are numbed, okay? You don't feel anything. But he says, no, how about you? Well, I was not put under. What about you? How about you? Rachel says, well, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, I was given an anesthetic, okay? Anesthetic, a gas mask, basically. So she's saying that she was given something, like a gas mask, that kind of put her to sleep. Okay, not a deep sleep, but a light sleep so that she wouldn't feel the pain. But I was still kind of coherent. This word, coherent, coherent means that you are able to speak to a certain point. You have an understanding of what is happening. Okay, not 100%, but still you're able to sense things, um, maybe even hear things or speak uh, because I could see everything. Now, they put music on for me. They put headphones on, <laughs> on me so that I couldn't hear them taking it out or pulling it out. I think this is a good idea, especially for children. Children dread going to the dentist. They fear, they are so afraid of going to the dentist. But I think maybe if they use anesthesia, if they give you an anesthetic when they pull a tooth out and then, uh, you know, give you headphones so you can enjoy music, I think it's a good idea. So that is exactly what the dentist did for Rachel. And then Peter says, the drilling sounds just make it worse. Yeah, it's scary enough, but the drilling sounds, oh, it makes it even scarier. They often use a drill, right, to drill the cavity out or drill something. The drilling sound would actually be the, mm, the sound, okay? So that can actually make it worse. But apart from the dentist, one place that I don't mind going to because my eyes are perfect or my vision is perfect is the opticians. Hmm. Well, are the opticians would probably be right since he did add an S, but an optician is basically uh, like an optical, optical store. You would go to an optician to get contact lenses or even glasses. Right? So that is an optician. And as I did mention earlier, an ophthalmologist, it's a long word, is a specialist. Now, an ophthalmologist is closer to an eye doctor. Okay? So he says, I don't mind going to the optician. Getting an eye check or eye exam, I love it. Now, Rachel says, Hey, okay, you love going to the optician? Hmm, you must have 20 20 vision. So she asks, Do you have 20 20 vision? And Peter says, not quite 2020. Let's take a look at this. What is 2020 or 2020 vision? 2020 vision is, uh, people say, perfect vision, okay? If you can see well enough, you have 2020 vision or perfect vision. And this actually means, for example, 2020 vision means that you could see what others can see at 20 feet, okay? At 20 feet. What about 2040? Okay, this means 
that other people can see this dot from 40 feet away, but you have to stand 20 feet from the dot to see it. So this means you have bad eyesight, right? Okay, uh, what about 2010? Would that be good or bad eyesight? So remember, this is where you can see it and this is where other people with good vision can see it. So if others can see that point from 10 feet away, you could see it from farther away, from 20 feet, which means you have better vision than people who normally have good vision. So this is better vision than this vision. Okay, just in case you're confused, I'll add some information on our script, so check it out on our homepage. Anyhow, just remember, 2020 vision means good vision, perfect vision. But he says, not quite 2020, but I've never worn glasses or contact lenses. I think often in Korea we say, right? But often in English, we don't say, I wear lenses, you could, but more commonly, people say, I wear contacts, if not contact lenses, okay? So he's saying, I've never worn glasses. I've never worn contact lenses either. Rachel says, I got LASIK surgery, vision correction surgery. And Peter asks, was it painful? What did she say? She said, it was more painful than I expected, okay? So she thought it wouldn't be as painful, but it was more painful than she thought. But I think it was worth it. Now, from this, we can tell that she has no regrets. She is happy that she got the uh, LASIK surgery. Peter says, sure, it's better to get it done and not wear glasses. Rachel says, exactly, it's so convenient. I don't have to put my contacts on. Let's take a pattern, uh, let's take a look at that pattern in just a bit. So she's saying it's convenient because I don't have to wear my contacts. I don't have to wear glasses either. And she says, I recommend it. And that brings us to an end to today's actual talk. Did you enjoy it? Okay, now then take a moment to listen to it one more time. Oh, Peter, I have to go to the dentist. Oh, no. My tooth is so sensitive right now, and I loathe going to the dentist. Really? I, I actually find people who say, I don't mind going to the dentist a bit strange, because the dentist is the worst place to go in the world. I right? totally agree. But those people <laughs> probably have perfect teeth, no cavities. That's right. They probably get their dental checkup every six <laughs> months, do the whole routine. Yeah, because when you do have problems with your teeth, like... They're linked to your nerves and things like that. So the pain is like shooting pains and things like that. Getting your fillings done and getting your wisdom teeth pulled out. It's like my worst nightmare. It's terrible. Have you gotten your wisdom teeth taken out? I've had my bottom two taken out, yeah. Okay. And they were like really difficult to take out. In one case, the dentist actually climbed on my chest. What? Yanking and yanking. I had like the injections to numb the pain. So just like still... a Novocaine, you weren't uh, put under anything? No, no. Just... how about you? Well, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, it was considered oral surgery. So I was kind of uh, given um, an anesthetic, like a gas mask, basically. Wow. Uh, but I was still kind of coherent because I could see everything. Uh -huh. And they put music on for me. They put, like, headphones on <laughs> so nice. that I couldn't hear them taking it out. Because sure. it's it's on your face. It's so close to your ears that you can hear everything, right? That drilling sound. It just makes it worse. Yeah, right? that exactly. High pitched sound. But apart from the dentist, one place that I don't mind going to because my eyes are perfect is like the opticians. Getting an eye check. I you love have it. like twenty twenty vision. It's not quite twenty twenty, but I've never worn glasses or contact lenses. Wow, you are like so that. lucky. Yeah. Didn't it's... you recently have some stuff done to your eyes? Yeah, I got the LASIK surgery, so oh. the vision correction surgery, and I'm still kind of recovering right now. But I would definitely recommend it if your eyes get better. Was it painful? It was more painful than I expected. <laughs> but at this point, I think it was worth it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to get it done and then not wear glasses. Exactly. It's like so that. convenient. I don't have to put my contact lenses on. I don't have to wear glasses when I'm not wearing my contact lenses. So very convenient. Wow. I'd recommend it. Are you ready for some words from today's actual talk? Let's practice pronouncing them and then take you straight to some patterns. We've got four patterns, so let's speed it up a bit. First of all, cavity. Plural form would be cavities. That's cavity, cavity. And also the next word is yank, as in the verb form. It means to pull with force, 
mm, yank something. Synonyms are snap or even tug, means to pull something forcefully. What about numb? Now, take a look. It's spelled with a B at the end. So the spelling is N-U-M-B, but the B is silent. You don't pronounce it. So as you see, it's numb, numb, numb. And it means to anesthetize, anesthetize, and also freeze something. So uh, another word for it would be to paralyze something so you don't feel something, okay? Another one, anesthetic, anesthetic, anesthetic. Stress goes right there. And our final word is optician. Now, Peter mentioned that he does not mind going to the optician. Pronunciation is optician, optician, optician. Now, this could either be a place you can go to to get glasses or contacts or the person that you will most likely bump into at an optician. And these people will test your eyes, give you an eye exam, and even prescribe you perhaps glasses or contacts. Okay, now it's time for our patterns. Take a look, get a dental filling or just get a filling. Get a filling. I got two fillings in two of my lower teeth, which means they drilled a hole in your tooth or teeth and they filled it with something. That is a filling, okay? I got two fillings in two of my lower teeth or bottom teeth. Getting a filling for a cavity doesn't hurt at all, okay? Getting a filling for a cavity doesn't hurt at all, okay? It's not painful at all. Moving on to another one, get or have a tooth or teeth taken out, pulled out, or even removed. Let's take a look at some sample sentences. I had all of my molars pulled out. I had all of my molars pulled out. I need to get a cavity removed. So keep in mind, when you go to the dentist and they remove your teeth or tooth, try using take out, pull out, or even remove, okay? All right. Have or get an injection. A more difficult way of saying get a shot, for instance. I had an injection where? In my lower gum. We often chew gum, there's chewing gum, but the part we have in our mouth, that's right, we do have gums in our mouth as well. I had an injection in my lower gum. One more. I got a dental injection for what? For a cavity and tooth extraction. To extract something means to pull out, to take away from. So this also means to pull out, take out, or even remove a tooth. Now, you got a dental injection for a cavity and tooth extraction. Okay, uh, let's check out one more since we did talk about our eyesight and vision as well. Put contact lenses on or off or put contact lenses in and out. Okay, you can also remove contacts. What is an easy way to put contact lenses on and off? Okay, and let's check out one more sentence. There are proper ways, there are correct ways to do so, to put in and remove contacts. So keep in mind, I did point out, in Korea we often say na renjikyo, but in English it's more common to say I wear contacts, much more than I wear lenses, okay? So keep that in mind everyone, job well done. Eyesight. Well, my eyesight has been actually pretty good. I haven't got my contacts in because I don't wear any. But most of my life I have had like 20-20 vision. And I think that's because I grew up in New Zealand and I was looking really far. And I heard looking far distance is actually really good for your eyes. And seeing a lot of green, a lot of blue, I also heard was good for your eyes. So whenever I got an eye exam was when I was ever getting my driver's license or sitting some kind of test. Other than that, my eyes have been pretty good, but I realized after moving to Korea and everything is very close in my face, tall buildings, my eyesight has slightly got worse. When I was getting my Korea's driver's license, I remember checking the eyesight and I remember I could always read under the green line. But nowadays, it's getting a little harder. So I think to look after your eyes, you've got to make sure you look long distance and you make sure that 
you eat carrots? I don't know if that's true. But I think most of all, get a checkup, and if you need glasses, get them, because I heard if you don't wear glasses, it will just make your eyes worse when they're actually already bad. Thanks, David, for the wonderful actual story for today's lesson. Now, he did mention uh, a few things that I was not aware of, things such as the colors blue and green, how they are supposed to be good for your eyes. So I guess we all should be looking more at the colors blue and green. I know carrots, people say that carrots are good for your vision. I don't know if it's a fact, but uh, I've heard that a lot as well. And for David, he said that he lived in Australia, I believe. Oh, New Zealand, that is. And in New Zealand, he was looking far off into the distance. So he did mention that he has pretty good eyesight or vision. Let's take a look. He says, my eyesight has actually been pretty good. It's been good, meaning from a long time ago up until now, he has had no problems with his vision or eyesight. My eyesight has been pretty good. I heard looking far into the distance is really good for your eyes, okay? Something can be good for or bad for something. So he's saying, I heard, this is something somebody else told him. I heard looking far into the distance uh, is really good for your eyes. And one last sentence, if you need glasses, get them. Mm get them, meaning get glasses, because I heard if you don't, if you don't get glasses, your vision or eyesight will worsen. It'll get even worse. It's true, we all should take care of our eyes and our teeth and our body. Every little thing about our body, it is our responsibility. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Anyhow, thanks, David, and hope you had a good time with this. Uh, let's, take a let's take a listen to it one more time. Eyesight. Well, my eyesight has been actually pretty good. I haven't got my contacts in because I don't wear any. But most of my life, I have had like 20-20 vision. And I think that's because I grew up in New Zealand and I was looking really far. And I heard looking far distance is actually really good for your eyes. And seeing a lot of green, a lot of blue, I also heard was good for your eyes. So whenever I got an eye exam was when I was ever getting my driver's license or sitting coming, some kind of test. Other than that, my eyes have been pretty good. But I realized after moving to Korea and everything is very close in my face, tall buildings, my eyesight has slightly got worse. When I was getting my Korea's driver's license, I remember checking the eyesight and I remember I could always read under the green line. But nowadays, it's getting a little harder. So I think to look after your eyes, you gotta make sure you look long distance and you make sure that you eat carrots. I don't know if that's true. But I think most of all, get a checkup and if you need glasses, get them. Cause I heard if you don't wear glasses, it will just make your eyes worse when they're actually already bad. Come to think of it, I remember as a little girl, I used to always want to wear glasses, but now that I have to wear glasses, I usually wear contacts. I really regret having thought so. I used to sit so close to the television just because I wanted to wear glasses. I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, I hope I can get some sort of eye correction or vision correction surgery, but I'm just a little too scared for that. Anyhow, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on eye and dental checkups. I'll join you again next time with another topic. We'll talk about being hospitalized. So the topic is hospitalization. In the meantime, come visit us at our homepage, www.ebse.co.kr. Come by, swing by to say hello. All right, that's a wrap. I'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.